Hello everyone, I'm going to do a review and show you how to use the stainless steel reusable capsule for the Nespresso original line. So here I've got two different types of Nespresso machines. I've got the DeLonghi on the right and I've got the instant one on the left. So both of these Nespresso machines, they do the original line pods. That's what, that's what the original line looks like. And today we're going to be filling up our own capsule. We've got this stainless steel capsule here. We're going to be filling it up with our own espresso grounds and using it to make an espresso in both of these machines. So the one I'll be reviewing is Seal Pod. So it comes with a couple cards in it, but on the back side of one of the cards is the instructions on how to use it. So you get this little original line espresso pod. Now it's got some holes in the bottom. The top is open and we're going to be sealing it. It's got a bunch of these uh, peel tops. We'll be putting our coffee grounds in there and then you peel one of these off and this is what you stick to the top of it. Now it's only got sticky material on the outside. It doesn't have sticky material on the inside. This is like a foil. So it's got this little rubber holder. It works really good. You can, it holds it so that you can put the Nespresso, the coffee grounds in here. This is a little scoop. It's really nice. It only holds about a tape, one and a half tablespoons. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is the one on the left here, this is a, an espresso pod that you buy at the store. So the, the, the reusable one is quite a bit smaller. It's not as tall. Now, the, the reason for that is because we don't want the machine to puncture this. This is really hard stainless steel. So when we put these in, this is aluminum, and the machine actually puncts, punct, punctures a hole so that the water can come in from the front and come out the back. We want the same thing to happen here, but it's already got the holes in it, so it's going to go in the machine, but the machine's not going to puncture it. But the foil that we put on top, so when we put this foil on top, it's going to get punctured like these Nespresso pods do, and it acts pretty close to the same as what's on a, a Nespresso pod you buy at the store. Now, the one thing is these hold, a since they're a little bit taller, they hold a little bit more uh, espresso grounds. These can hold almost two tablespoons. And in here, I've only got, I can only put about a, one and a half tablespoons. So you're probably only going to be able to do a single shot. So here's the different espresso pods you can buy. Now, if you'll notice, the coffee is really fine. We need to make sure, if you're going to grind your own coffee, you need to grind it at a really fine grind for an, es for an espresso. You don't put medium ground coffee in here. They have really fine, it's almost almost like a powder in here. And so they do put inside this bag, they do put a little coffee sample. And it's actually got ground coffee in it. And we can see the coffee that they give us in that is really finely ground. Now they also give us an extra O-ring. So there's an O-ring installed on the bottom of this cup already when you take it out of the box. And if we look at pods you buy from the store, they have a little O-ring too on the, on the back side of them. And then in this box, you get a, a bunch of these aluminum lid stickers. There's a whole bunch of them in here. It says we get, there's a hundred in this package. It's really nicely packaged. So today I won't be grinding my own coffee. I'll be using this cafe. It's already ground at an espresso ground coffee. So you, you can buy this at the store and it's already really finely ground. This is really not for a drip coffee maker. This is for espresso machines. It's got, it's got a really fine powder and it's a dark roast. Okay, so let's fill this up. Again, it's, it's a little, everything's kind of small. So, and just kind of wipe it off. Now you don't want to compact this super. It says you're supposed to use the handle to do that. You want to just pack it down just a little bit. And then you're just going to make sure there's nothing on the lip here. And then this is where that holder comes into play. So this is a really neat holder. I like how that works. Okay, now it's time to grab one of the aluminum foil lids. And they're pretty easy to get on and line up. Might have got over to the right just a little bit. Now if you do, just make sure it's folded all around and nice and sealed all the way around. Make sure it does wrap around if it does wrap. And there's what it looks like. So we'll, we'll first put it in this one. Again, we're only going to do a single shot. 
Now, at first, when I was using these, it felt like, you know, it just didn't feel like it was going to work when you close the handle. So just drop it in there. And then you do have to, it is a little bit more force than when you use one of these. So that's why it's a little, I was a little nervous at first. Okay, so let's do a single shot. Okay, there's a single shot coming out of that reusable Nespresso pod. So it looks like it did a really good job. Now I can't drink espresso uh, straight like that. I have to mix it with a with milk to make a cappuccino or a latte. But when I do mix it with it, it does taste really good. Okay, so now we got to go find that pod. Open your handle. Now it does drop down into the storage pod area. I was afraid it would get stuck and wouldn't drop down. And there it is. Now be careful, it is hot. And I was very impressed. So here's a pod that you buy at the store and it looks like it's almost identical, you know, as far as the seal on the top and then at the bottom. And then cleanup can be a little tricky, but you just got to find this. It does usually peel off all at once. So find that little edge and then you can peel that off and then you can take the, the uh, coffee grounds out. Okay, so I did find cleanup is just super easy. It cleans up very nice. It's, it's very well made. Okay, so let's make another one and let's, let's make an espresso in the um, instant. Again, just tap it down a little bit. Don't make it nice and just a little bit of tamp, not much. And again, put it in that little tray. That really is nice. And then you just grab one of these. Very easy to put on, very easy. And again, if you got some excess, just wrap it around the corner, underneath. Okay, so let's put it in this machine. Again, I wouldn't do more than a single shot, so put it in. This one, again, it did take a little bit more work to close the handle than, a, than when you do a, a store-bought one. I would just do a two ounce. So again, there's what it looks like. It did taste good when I made a cappuccino. Now we gotta open this up. You heard the pod drop down. And we gotta go find it. And there's the pod. And it did a good job. And so when I use it in the instant machine, it does feel like you have to close the handle quite a bit harder than you do even on this machine. And definitely harder when you're doing a store-bought pod. So again, here's the reusable pod, and here's, here's a store-bought one that's been used. And again, you just got to peel, find the edge, peel it up, and there. Okay, so here's a store-bought one that I just cut open. I want you to see, see the espresso in there? It's not really tamped down a whole bunch. It's pretty light and fluffy in these pods. And again, these pot, the ones you buy at the store do hold a little more. So I'm very happy with the reusable pod. Thanks everybody for watching.